sort of a lonely occupation, the only one you're writing for is your own readers, well, that's okay, I got you to where you are today. But to get to that next level, you really need to uh, have lots of friends and do lots of networking. So one of the things that you can do, and in fact, one of the things that we're involved in doing, is um, go to places like Recipe.com, which actually has uh, uh, an area on its website for blogs we love. And if you're willing to share a recipe, uh, this is a sort of uh, you know, the simplest thing to get involved. And all of a sudden, that your content is showcased on their website. Uh, if somebody wants the actual details of the recipe, you get the three things. But it's, it's, it's one of the ways that you can sort of um, begin building your network. Go out there, make some new friends, uh, get your content exposed, get your name uh, out there. And um, it's one of the tips. The other one, of course, every mommy blogger needs to discover Pinterest. Pinterest has just taken off like wildfire in the last six months. And again, um, one of the things that they're looking for are things that you can pin on your pen board. Really make sure uh, graphics are more important. And if you have a blog post without a really good graphic, you've been missing a bet all along. And so all of a sudden, you know, it, 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 it's something that you can contribute to the Pinterest community, but it's also something that will make your own blog post more visually interesting uh, for your own readers. So you're helping yourself at the same time. So those are two tips. Thank you.